What's going on everyone? Good morning. It is morning here. That's why I'm still wearing my Christmas pajamas. I've got this in from YouTube and I'm gonna unbox it right now. I don't know if many of you know, when you hit a certain amount of subscribers on YouTube, uh, YouTube sends you an award. There's an award for 100,000 subscribers, a million subscribers, and 10 million subscribers. I just hit 100,000 subscribers, thanks to you guys. I'm so appreciative of you all being on my channel and watching my videos and subscribing. Thank you so much. If you've never seen one before, this might be interesting for you or you might not really care. But I'd just like to open it in front of you guys just so you can uh, enjoy this experience with me. I'm really excited about it. It's a big mile marker for my channel and what I've been working towards for years now. This box comes like this. I guess I just open it like this. I don't wanna open it the wrong way. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, guys, oh my god. I have like butterflies right now. I'm like nervous to open this because I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, can you see? Thumbs? Oh my gosh, okay. Oh my god! Let me bend down so you can see me too. So it's just like this like metal silver plaque and it says... Wow, this is freaking awesome. I am so happy. I can cry right now. Wow. Oh, it's like a mirror. There's a camera. <laughs> That's my unboxing. That is my silver award from YouTube for reaching 100,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I am so happy and thankful and 2018 has been an amazing year. I really appreciate it and thank you guys. Another thing I would like to say is I am selling the Tight Lines Bikini Saltwater Fishing Calendars and I'm signing them too if you'd like. This is what it looks like, I'm on the cover. Selling them for $30, that includes shipping, and I'm doing it all through my PayPal. I'll put my PayPal email in the description box so you can send the money to that email and then I will see your payment and just put in your address and anything anything you'd like me to say or write it out to, um, any information you'd like in the messaging box if you're interested in that. That's it for the morning. Um, enjoy the rest of this video. I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, we're recording. Okay, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. I'm here at home again and I've got some pig ears, some pig's feet, and some pig's tails fresh from Walmart. I'm gonna fill my stone crab traps. I'm gonna bait the traps. So typically stone crabs like pig's feet, but I'm gonna experiment a little bit. I got some tails and some ears here. So you can buy any part of a pig at Walmart. It's pretty cool. We're gonna test it out and see what works, what doesn't work. And I'm just gonna drop them back in and wait two weeks to pick them up again. This is an ear. How cool is that? weird crabs. I don't know what kind of crab it is, but... Get off! <laughs> so this trap is good, I think. I mean, maybe I'll put... Oh, 
crab or a lobster? Yeah. There's a little baby one. <laughs> a little baby one. Cute. I'm gonna let her go. Him go. Okay, now we can enjoy the rest of our day on the water and I will see these traps in about two weeks. That's good for now because we'll come back and clean it. So on my way to go pull up my stone crabs today, my stone crab traps for the second time I'm doing my second pull today. Last time I, I rebated the traps, I moved them all to the same spot where I got the big crab, the big claws from last time. Check those out and I really am kind of nervous. I hope there's some uh, stone crabs in there, but we will see. We're right up against the wall too. Is it on? Stinks. Yeah. Oh, someone stole them. Yeah, we need to do the zip. This one's good. This one's not bad. There's only two in here though. Taking that claw. This one's good too. I'm just gonna. I bet the other ones had some too, as yeah. a male. Yep, okay. Well, well you got dinner. Kind of, I have an appetizer. <laughs> I'm gonna turn around and throw this one back there, but it uh, looks like only one of my three traps had crabs in it. Um, I'm a little disappointed because this was a good spot last time and I feel like my uh, crabs were stolen again, but I'm gonna Next time I think, take y'all's advice and put some zip ties on my crowd trap or something just to prevent stealing. Pretty cool. I got a few claws today. Not bad. I'm like really disappointed right now. But um, yeah, we'll just take the boat back and clean it up and then I gotta figure out a different plan for the traps. Okay. Just time to get the bag around. Those crabs were probably stuck in the trap after whoever stole my other crabs came. solution because right now I need to figure out how to not let my traps get stolen out of 